Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to export our Godot projects for Mac OS and Windows Desktop. To begin, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. If you look down here, I have an icon. Obviously, I'm on Mac OS, but I have an icon here for Lemonade Stand. And if I click this to launch this application, we see a splash screen and then boom, my application is running. And you can see up here, it's named Lemonade Stand. I can go full screen and I can exit out of that and it's totally functional and everything. So let me go ahead and close this. So the question is, how do we actually export our Godot projects to become either disk images for Mac OS or executable files for Windows? Now, in order to do all of this, I've prepared a couple of things. I have the icon that I wanted to use for my project, which is just this simple black triangle. And then I also created this splash scene that I want to use with my, with my game. So let's learn how to actually export our projects. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to my game. I've got my two assets over here and I'm going to launch my game. And first thing that I need to do is I wanna import my icon and my splash screen in as images. So I'm gonna grab these and just drop them into my images folder. Okay, great. So now they're there, I don't have to worry about them. Now that we've imported our images, there's a couple, couple of things that we need to do in order to prepare our project for export. So specifically, what I wanna do is come over to Project and click on Project Settings. And in the General tab, under the Application section, I'm going to set the icon that I want my application to have on the target platform, whether it's Mac OS or Windows. And so that setting is actually right under config. So here for icon, you can see there's a little folder here, just click here and it will bring you right to your resources folder. And I already imported my icon that I wanna use. So I'm gonna select that. And the second thing that I wanna do is click boot splash. And this is that splash image that I showed you that appears while your game is loading. And so what I wanna do is go ahead and come back to my images folder and select my splash image that I've selected. And then I want that to be full size. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a filter, which is important if you're using high resolution artwork. And then finally, I can specify a background color. And I'm just gonna go with pure black as the background color for the splash page. Okay, excellent. Now that we've done that, we are really ready to begin the export process. So how do we do that? First, we come up to Project and we're gonna click Export. Now, when we do that, we see this pop-up window, which essentially has nothing enabled. And what we need to do is actually click on Add. These are all of the options that we have. I'm gonna go ahead and select Mac OS X. And when we do that, we're gonna see all this red text down at the bottom, and it's gonna say, warning, essentially the template needed to export to this platform, in other words, Mac OS X, is missing. So we need to get that template. So we're gonna click here, and this little export template manager window is gonna pop up, and it's gonna say, this is the current version of the engine that you're using, and you need to download the appropriate template. So click download and it's gonna process for a minute, and then it's gonna say, where do you wanna download it from? And we just wanna use the official mirror right here, so I'm gonna click that, and then the download process is going to begin. And it's a pretty big file, so over 400 megabytes. It's gonna take a little while to download depending on your connection. Okay, once the download has completed, we can go ahead and close the Export Template Manager, and we're gonna come back over to Project, and click on export again. Now, when we do that, we can see that our target platform, the template is available and we have the normal export options available to us. So the first thing we wanna do is specify the name of the exported application. So in my case, I am going to say Lemonade Stand. That's what I want my game to be called. And I am going to specify the icon again the installer icon, go ahead and click that. And I might wanna put a signature in here or some copyright information. So I'll put LTech 2020. 
and I might want to check high res. This is important for people who are using high DPI monitors and most of the other things we can just leave blank. Now, once we've set all of those things, we can click export project. And by default, it's going to populate a file name here and it's going to use the extension of disk image, which is appropriate for Mac OS. And then it's going to ask me, where do I want to save this? Now, by default, most of you will see this, that it wants to export to your project folder. I don't recommend that. I recommend that you export to a different location. So you can see here, I have already navigated to my desktop. So that's where I'm going to export this and I'm going to click save and Godot will begin the export process. Very good, it looks like it finished, so I can close this, I can minimize this, and sure enough, if I come to my desktop, I can see there is a disk image file right here, which I can double click, and it opens up. I have my application file. I'm gonna come over to my applications folder. I'm gonna drag and drop this to install it, and boom, it's installed. And now I could go ahead and put this in my dock if I wanted to. I can eject this. Let me move this out of the way. If I mouse over here, it says Lemonade Stand. If I double click, it launches the application. We saw the splash screen there very briefly. And of course, I can go full screen. And my game is a real Mac OS application running perfectly. Okay. So now how do we do the same thing for Windows? Well, let me come back over here. It's the same process. So I'm gonna come Project, Export, but this time I don't wanna target Mac OS X. I want to target a different platform and we wanna do Windows Desktop, not Windows Universal. So I'm gonna select that. And now that everything is here, we see lots of the same options. They should have carried over and I'm gonna go ahead and click export project. And again, it's going to ask me where I want to save things. Notice it has the Windows executable and I'm going to click save and excellent. I can close this, come down and sure enough, I can see I have my executable file and then the resource pack that needs to be parallel to that file. So wherever you install this, this PCK file, this resources pack, needs to be next to where you install your game. And that, my friends, is how you export your projects for Mac OS and Windows Desktop.